learn how U.S. citizens can vote abroad in this episode of Expat Rebel. Hey, be sure to like, subscribe, and click on the bell notifications so that you don't miss a single episode of Expat Rebel. Okay, in today's episode, we're going to talk about how U.S. citizens can vote while living overseas. It's actually quite simple and it only takes like five or ten minutes. You can go to votefromabroad.org. Now, it doesn't matter your political affiliation or anything, and it has a form that you fill out that will help you get an absentee uh, ballot uh, to you so that you can vote in the, the next U.S. election. So you want to go do that, go ahead and do it now, even though it's, it might be some time before the election, just so that you can get it, you can fill it out, and then you uh, send it back in. And you're going to, more importantly, want to double check that they get it. So you're going to need to call them after a certain amount of time. The, um, that website will step you through all the necessary steps. Again, it only takes like five or ten minutes, so you can, as a U.S. citizen, vote from abroad in the next upcoming election. So go ahead and do that. And hey, while you're here, go ahead and like and subscribe and click on that bell notification for uh, Expat Rebel. I'll keep you up to date with expat news, travel essays, uh, and other uh, news that us expats or people that want to be an expat are interested in. And hey, if you're interested in becoming an expat quickly, go ahead and go over to expatrebel.com. I have a checklist that tells you how I actually did it in 30 days. I went from idea to moving overseas in about 30 days. I did make some mistakes, about $3,000 worth of mistakes, and I highlight them in the checklist so that you don't make those same mistakes uh, as well and what has worked for me. Thank you for joining me in this episode, and I'll see you in the next one.